¿Ya terminaste el desayuno? Eso es chocolate corté. Ah, ok, ok. This right here is a bizcocho mojadito. I'm making it for a graduation. And it's a yellow vanilla sponge cake moistened with almond syrup and almond flavored frosting. Um, and this is what you eat at all the celebrations in Puerto Rico. I grew up on Division in Hoyne. My parents bought a house on Division in Christiana. Division Street has always been full of life and culture. You walk by and you hear loud music and cars playing. It's just who we are. Just very loud and proud people. <laughs> We're trying to keep that culture alive. This is one of the areas with the highest concentration of public art anywhere. You're walking in an open gallery. You're walking in a living museum. In 1966, there was a huge uprising right here where you're standing. The people demonstrating their anger against a system that had marginalized them. This building here has murals, and all those murals are Puerto Rican political prisoners. The neighbors there did a campaign to erase those murals. That is colonialism at its worst, because it's the removal of people's memory. Humboldt Park is one of the largest, most beautiful park districts that we have the privilege of being a part of. And that's why when you walk down California, you see multi-million dollar developments reside right across the street. We have an alternative to not just combat gentrification because our existence isn't only about resistance, it is about thriving. It is about anchoring. And so there was this concept of Puerto Rico town that came up. I wonder if you can just talk a little bit more about your forward thinking and your vision for some of the small business anti-displacement goals. The idea is how do we use the designation to be able to really realize and materialize what it means to have you know, small businesses sustain themselves. This is Lily's record. It is a 40-year-old business here. This is an authentic Puerto Rican homegrown business. A cultural designated district means an area in which you infuse every element, health, economic development, education, housing. All of those are infused by culture and the validation of culture. In any Latino community, this is the most important institution, is the Botanica. This has been here for generations. Culture is food, culture is housing, culture is all of our basic needs. Okay, pues Zoraida la creadora de esa increíble comida, así que Zoraida, 
is celebrating the 35th year right here on Division, on Division Street. Street. So for us, you cannot really distinguish where culture ends and our very survival begins. They are totally intertwined. What does that mean in terms of small businesses? We start people out with a pop-up business, we move them into a business incubator, and then we graduate people to have their own brick and mortar enterprise. I was established at the Mercado del Pueblo. I had a little kiosk. They walked me through licensing. They've just always motivated me and walked hand by hand with me. We eat food every day, right? It's an essential thing in life, but it's also an art form. It provides comfort, it's warm, it brings nostalgia. And so that's what I do here at Chucherias, and I'm proud of that. Puerto Rico town will be here forever, no matter what comes to our community or how much we are pushed out, it will always be Puerto Rico town.